Morning everybody. Day two technically of Tokyo. We're meeting up with Tim, who is a friend of ours, who grew up here and is, just knows Japan very well in Tokyo in general, so he's gonna be our little tour guide. I think we're gonna do some vintage shopping today and hopefully some good food. We are just getting breakfast now, or with Tim, and we're gonna do some vintage shopping later. And he just told us that this entire part that we're on is all artificial land from recycled material. So they built this entire, everything you see here, the land is built on water. In the capital store, it's so much cheaper here in Japan because it's made here. So I'm trying to take advantage of that. There's this jacket, these pants. Just shopping now still. Tim's showing us all the good spots. Yeah. We're just saying how much better the shopping here is in Japan. Talk about the shopping here. Shit. Seriously? Keep, just keep copying. So we're in Harajuku, a bunch of some of the vintage shops. I think I'm just gonna show you the massive hall when we get home. So this area is really cool. fast food Japanese restaurant. All this food is like $9 US, which is insane. This is the little Happy Meal toy equivalent. Oh my God. What is this name? What does that mean? I have no idea. Oh yeah, it's pretty cute. 25 Canadian dollars for three people. It's like 15 bucks for a Big Mac in Australia. We're in a pet store. We just have literally the cutest puppies I've ever seen. And they're also expensive, but I feel bad for them. They're in these little things. They're so cute. Oh my god, this looks exactly like my dog when I first got here. Tim was just telling me that some people consider those shops unethical because they don't really know what happens to the dogs if no one buys them. And so they often end up at a shelter, he thinks. So a lot of Japanese influencers say, just get your dog from a shelter if you want to get one. So, you know, support and keep these shops in business. So it feels kind of like gross in such a small glass cage and if no one buys it, you don't know what happens. Back at the hotel, just getting a drink, mocktail. The service is so good here. I thought the guy noticed that the sun was going in my eye a bit. And then I just hear him behind me say, you guys want to move? All right, we are finally back. Gonna do a quick little haul of the stuff I got. Show you some of the stuff Kai got as well. Kai got a lot more than me. We got these Saint sweatpants. I didn't actually know it was a Japanese brand. Sorry if you can't see them all. I tried to capitalize on buying brands that are Japanese because they're a lot cheaper here. So I didn't know Saint was actually a Japanese brand. I assumed it was American just because a lot of their stuff is based on like vintage American bands. So I got also this Saint T. See their tag is based on the giant tag, the back graphic. And then I also got this Long sleeve Saint T based on the Nirvana shirt. And then I got these capital jeans that you guys saw I tried on in the store roll the footage. But yeah, I tried to get stuff that you know, I could get for cheaper here because it's made here. Let me show you guys what Kai got. Just quickly run through it. You can maybe see it on his channel. Vintage Herman Miller hat. He got a Fear of God zip up. He got uh, capital sweatpants. Saint sweatpants, vintage Levi's t-shirt, capital shirt. Capital long sleeve polo, capital t shirt, some vintage Tammy Ill figure, Saint shirt, vintage looking, <laughs> Stussy vintage. He got these Margella shoes on screen and these ASIC shoes. I don't know how, what the process is of how Saint gets their stuff to look so vintage, but it's not actually vintage. But apparently, it's this crazy long process, and that's why it's quite expensive. Maybe I'm just falling for the marketing. But we definitely did a lot of exploring today. I didn't bring my 300 pound camera, did a bit on my iPhone. This is pretty much the best view in all of Tokyo. Tim was telling us that's the Imperial Garden, massive space just for the like the royal family, I think, the emperor, especially with the sunset too. It's just it's like the best view possible in the hotel probably as well. Prosciutto melon. This is like elevated prosciutto melon. Cure the wagyu like a ham. It's so good. Whatever sauce they put on it. We're just walking home from dinner, finishing of the night. Walking by the Apple store. 
Everything is so well curated here. Look at the bamboo trees in the Apple store. Good morning, everybody. It's our last day in this hotel in Tokyo. My brother Levi and my dad are coming. Kai is here. My dad doesn't know, I think. We have a feeling he might know and just doesn't want to spoil that. We try to surprise him. What do you think? Who knows? They're going to land in a couple hours. We're going to do some breakfast. The service at this hotel has been some of the best service I've ever had. Every time we come back to the room, they leave like a little card with something like this one is fragrance sachet. Fragrance was important in religious rituals in Japan. So this one's good. These would keep your clothes smelling fresh. <laughs> Crispiest bacon in the world. What's your favorite thing so far about this? Hotel set. The lobby, aesthetics, architecture. Yeah, I agree. The lobby is literally insane in this hotel. I don't know how many times I can show it, but yeah, that looks like a movie scene. All right, we're checking out now. This is definitely one of the most memorable hotels I've ever stayed in. We're on to the hotel where we're staying with everyone. Peace out. And we're formulating the surprise right now too. How we're gonna like do it. We're entering the main sort of anime district of Tokyo. Biggest one. I just Googled it. I don't know too much about it, but we're going to the big shopping mall center of it. You can already see Sid really likes the Sanrio characters. Hello Kitty. Who else? That's all I know really. like these are slot machines, but they're not. Or are they? We have no idea how it works. The vending machines here are insane. Fresh orange juice. I wish we had these in North America. It's my dream. Have a purchase card and then you just write the ID down. Like IKEA. Yeah. IKEA for figurines. These three he said are the priciest, around 330 and then 700 for that big one. So these kind of dolls, people really dress up and you can even get their hair cut here. Different hairstyles. I don't, know, I don't think you get a haircut, but you can get them to. No filming. No filming? Only photo, okay. Oh, okay. So this entire thing is 10 floors. Sort of speed ran the last couple floors, but I got something. A little token of memory. entire building is like claw machine games, I think. We're just uh, leaving now. It's crazy how many stores are here that sell like manga, weeb. anime, weeb stuff. So we're in the new hotel room. We're trying to think of how we're gonna surprise my dad. Kai's gonna hide in this room, but then there's two beds we think he might know. Or maybe we're gonna get Kai to hide. I'm gonna walk my dad to his room and we'll already have Kai hiding in there. But check out the room. <laughs> Other hotel we were at was more sort of resort-like and this is more kind of corporate hotelish. There's a lot of businessmen here we saw. At the Amon it was more like people on their honeymoon, um, like just relaxing. All right, they're five minutes away. We're going over to my dad's room to get Kai hidden. We think he might know. We're kind of nervous and he's just not spoiling the surprise because he knows. So where are we gonna hide you? Um, what's this? Shitter? Maybe hide in the bathtub? Like <laughs> down? Or maybe just hide in the toilet, right? No, he'll piss when he comes in. Or what about hide behind that drip curtain? Pull the curtain out a bit though. Is it obvious? No. Definitely not. It's like claustrophobic for me. Oh, okay, no. Well, yeah, I can do it here. That's all the way shut though. No, why are you shutting it all the way? No, it's automatic. Ow! Fuck! Okay, I gotta go down. You, you Tell me where you're going now. Pause it. Are they here? Yeah. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. Okay, so tell, when do it, you just, I'll put my phone on silent. Come come out from here. Okay. I think they should be here now. Alright. 
Why did you ask if I had any food here? No, did you eat the food here? Did you arrive? Anything like that? Did you try it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to your room. <laughs> okay, let's prank Kai back. <laughs> you, get, you get what I'm saying? So what should we do? Yeah, yeah, let's do that one. And pretend that you didn't know? Yeah, but there's one step. The other step has to be... He's hiding in a room right now. <laughs> I totally get it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go upstairs. So we switched to room Levi actually, and then I come in. Get no, what no, I mean? No. Just, just pretend... Yeah. How was that even a prank? Then, just pretend that you didn't no, know. No, you pretend you're going to... My room. room, and yeah. then I pretend I go to your room, and then you go to your room. I knew, I we knew you knew, because you would have been calling us, texting us. <laughs> Wait, how did Levi blow it? I, I said to Kai, Levi's gonna ruin it before. No way. Okay, he keeps saying, oh, I don't know how we're gonna book, uh, you know, with all the people having dinner together. I don't know, Kai is gonna have <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> and I said, Kai, is he coming? Oh, no, I'm not sure. <laughs> I said, yeah, oh, so dumb. <laughs> No, he's hiding in your closet now. You know, I'm so glad you got me the uh, PSN. Oh, that's nice. We just wish the rest of the family were here though to enjoy it with us. Yeah, what? Like a mom Thank and dad son, one. right? Thank you. Kai always ruin everything. <laughs> Levi does not ruin anything. Is he really thinking about coming still? We should, should I call him? Yeah, call him, yeah. Wow, shit, the washroom Check is Check the closets, nice. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> you mother! Did you know? <laughs> you knew! <laughs> you knew! <laughs> you fucking knew! <laughs> the door guy ruined it. No, okay. and the guy ruined okay. it. Okay, that kind of me a wall, right? <laughs> kind of me a wall goes to. When I came down, Dad was like, "Oh, so what have you been eating since you've been here?" And I was like, "I just landed." And he's like, "Oh, oh, yeah." And I was like, "It was so obvious." <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> when I was talking about us going to Korea, by accident it slipped, and I'm like, oh yeah, Jet and Kai want to go to Korea, and Dad's like, oh, so Kai's coming? Didn't know what to say. But then we got here, well, and- What did you say? I was just like, yeah, I just blew it, sorry. Oh my god! <laughs> Why and would then, you say something? And then, and then- You could've just been like, he's thinking about it. Yeah, because it's already, it happened a couple times where like, your name came up, and I talked about you, maybe- <laughs> <laughs> So we're like, let's just pretend. I'm still very, very excited. Let's very just... surprised. The joke is actually on me. Yeah. <laughs> he and Kai were both like, oh, he's not even texting us. Not, he would call us so much if I was flying. He would ask how my flight was. I'm in here. I left on the 14th. I don't know why I had some smidgen of hope that he didn't know for some reason. Because I kept being like to my mom, does he really not know? Does he know? She was like, yes. And I was like, I texted Levi at one point. I was like, does he actually not know? And Levi was like, yeah, I guess he was lying. And then it's so obvious that, like, roll that footage again. How obvious it was when you got down there. <laughs> We're gonna do some more exploring now that everyone's here, though. Sushi Lee. No, I can't wear this color. Yeah. Try it. No, I, I can't do it, son. Look at my hair, it's like square. <laughs> Ow, you're tying it so tight. Get ready to drop that. We're on the spa floor. <laughs> <laughs>